Good evening. I'm Sir Nigel Bornbrand of Canterbury College. The topic of discussion this evening is the lower extremity dressing after a total hip replacement surgery, or THR. There are many useful things to be discussed, all of which are necessary to do in the presence of a client. Lucky for us, we happen to have a client right here, Mrs. Henrietta Smith. A lovely client that cannot independently dress herself due to her THR range of motion limitations. Hello, dear. I heard you just had your hip replaced. I did. And I hear you have a few concerns about dressing your lower extremities. I do. Splendid. Let's get started. First, let's discuss your first goal. In order to independently dress my lower extremity, I will don and off my pants, socks, and shoes using adaptive equipment with setup by discharge. Splendid! Before we get started, we'll need some necessary equipment. A long-handled shoehorn, a reacher, a sock aid, a walker with a tray, and a chair with arms. I bet you're ready to dress your low extremities. I am. Splendid. But first, we must heed the necessary precautions before we commence as to prevent subluxation of your new hip. Okay. I hear you've set a goal here for yourself as well. In order to dress my lower extremity, I will don and off pants, shoes, and socks while adhering to hip precautions with verbal cues by discharge. Before we begin, dear, how's your osteoarthritis? It's okay. Very well. If at any moment you should want to cry or have any pain, Please let me know, and we will have a rest and recuperate. Okay. Splendid. Before we begin, let's discuss some precautions. There is to be no hip flexion past 90 degrees, no crossing of the operated leg, no abduction of your operated leg, Absolutely no internal rotation. And please do not squat. Now that we are ready to dress your low extremity, let's go over a few things. You have your socks, shoes, dressing aids, and walker right there within easy reach. Make sure you sit on a firm chair with arms. Always dress your operated extremity first. And if at any moment you feel any discomfort, please let me know. Okay, good to go. We begin with putting our socks on. First, we're going to get the sock aid off of the walker tray. We will put the sock over the tip furthest away from the rope ends. Pull the sock up the sock aid. Then we will place the sock aid on the floor in front of the operated leg. Very good. Now we're going to insert the operated foot of the operated leg into the sock aid and slowly pull up with the sock aid, letting the sock aid do the work just like that. Very good. Take the sock aid off of your operated leg 
and we are dressed. For the second step, we will be placing our pants on our lower extremities. Lay them in front of you as you would normally to insert your legs into them. Very good. Placing them on the floor. Now using the reacher, we will utilize the reacher to pull the pants over our operated leg first. And then we will insert our unoperated leg, pull the pants into your other hand. Now we will set the reacher aside, set the other equipment aside, place the walker in front of us, and we will pull our pants up to our waist using both hands. Be careful not to put any weight on your operated leg. Sit back down carefully using the arms of the chair. Move the walker out of the way. And there you go. Use the reacher to put the shoe in front of the operated leg first. Set the reacher aside. Use the long-handled shoehorn to insert your heel. There you go. It is important here to note that should you want to make the activity harder, you can scaffold the pieces of clothing, or should you want to make it easier, you can model while providing maximum assistance. Now that you're done, I bet you'd like to undress. I would. Splendid! Let's discuss undressing with adaptive equipment. Taking your shoes off, use the long-handled shoehorn. Push the shoe aside of the operated leg first, then remove the other shoe. And you are done. We will discuss removing your pants. Bring the walker around in front of you. Then slowly pull your pants off to your knees. Move the walker aside. Descend into the chair on your unoperated leg. Then use the reacher to push your pants off of your legs. And... Move the pants aside. There you go. Finally, we will discuss removing your socks. Use the long-handled shoehorn to take the sock off of your operated leg first. Then transfer to the unoperated leg. Take both of your socks off, set them on the tray, and you're done. Congratulations! In four to eight weeks, this could be you! Walking about using your walker and adaptive equipment fully dressed. <laughs>